Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I wanted to share with you some of my picks for the perfect Valentine's Day fragrances. I'm celebrating a little bit early this year, so I'm really feeling in the spirit. So I'm going to share with you some of my top picks, whether you are going out on a date with your significant other or just spending time with some of your close friends. These are gonna be the best fragrances for you to wear. So my first pick is a dead giveaway. This is gonna be in everybody's Valentine's Day fragrance list, and that is Parfum de Marly Davina Exclusive. This is the exclusive version, which I do prefer over the original Davina. It's a lot creamier. There's almost like a rich, milky quality to it. This is the most feminine, beautiful, soft yet strong fragrance I've ever smelled. This is honestly just femininity in a bottle. Even the bottle itself, with the pink tassels, every little detail here on the front. You would have a pink gem on the top, it's gorgeous. Um, so some of the notes in here, we have lychee, pear, grapefruit, so it's a little bit fruity in the top. And then we have rose, incense, vetiver, uh, we have vanilla and musk. So it's sweet, it's fruity, it's a little bit creamy and musky. This is just the perfect date night scent or if you're spending time with your friends, I'm sure they would love to smell this on you too. It's just an incredible scent, the lasting power. This projects everybody's going to be able to smell you. It lasts all day. I just recently picked this one up and I'm super happy to have it in my collection. I didn't give it really the chance before, but on the skin is where you really pick up like the lychee, the fruity, milky notes. And it's just an incredible scent for Valentine's Day. That's my first pick, Delina Exclusive. Now I'm going to go with something a little bit softer, and that is Dama Bianca from Zerjoff. This is the Casamarati line. So this again is a very feminine bottle with your tassel here. It's a soft frosted glass. So you have a nice lady on the front. To me, this smells like soft little fairies floating around in the clouds or almost like angels. That's what comes to mind when I smell this. It's soft, ethereal, powdery, musky. It's sweet, a little bit fruity. You have kumquat and lime in here, which really give it a bright burst in the opening. And then you have some violet and iris, creating that powdery facet to it. Of course, you have vanilla in the base to sweeten it up. This is just beautiful, soft, very feminine, floral, musky. If you want something sweet and feminine, but you don't want anything too sweet, too floral, or too strong, um, because Delina can be a little bit strong, I would definitely recommend this one to you. That is Dama Bianca. I'm gonna go with another sweet floral, and this is Valentino Born at Roma. Nice pink juice here. I love this bottle. It's kind of edgy feminine, taking a little bit of a turn with the packaging. And this fragrance, you have jasmine, vanilla, pink pepper. So it's very sweet, but then you have the burst of the pink pepper, adding a little bit of spice. It's floral, you really get the jasmine in here. If you love a jasmine fragrance, you're gonna love this. You have some cashmere and wood and gaiac wood as well, making it a little bit woody, so there's some depth to this. I know this is one of the most popular fragrances on TikTok, and seen on Instagram, YouTube. This is super hyped up, and for good reason. It's beautiful, it's soft, playful, a little bit edgy. Um, you're definitely going to be smelled, so I recommend this. If you're hanging out with your friends or if you're going on a date night, it's not going to be projecting crazy into the air. So it's kind of for people that are going to be closer to you, which is why I picked it for Valentine's Day. So if you want something that's floral and sweet but has a little bit of, of woodiness to it to give it more depth, I would recommend Born in Roma from Valentino. Now we're going into the super sweet category. Um, this one is La Belle from Jean-Jean Gaultier. 
I have to say this is definitely a male magnet or really anybody is drawn to this fragrance. There's just something addictive about it that pulls people in closer. I've been given many compliments with this fragrance. It just kind of drifts off into the air and the people beside you can smell you and it's just sweet, fruity, musky, feminine. It's divine. I think I'll always have this in my collection. Uh, this is one of the first fragrances I got in my fragrance journey. It's very affordable. Um, some of the first options I showed you were a little bit on the pricier side. So I wanted to throw in one that's more affordable. You could find this at Ulta now, Macy's. You can pick it up online on discount websites, which is where I found mine. It's very accessible. Um, so this is one that I would recommend to everybody. It is fruity, sweet. You have the pear in there, which is really the star of the show in this fragrance. It's almost like a sweet pear tart. Um, you have some vanilla in there. It's more of like a vanilla bean to me. So you have that sweetness, but it's not really a sticky sweet. It's more of a fruity pear sweetness. And then in the base, you have some vetiver. Overall, this is a very sexy fragrance. People are going to be following you with this scent. I definitely recommend this for a date night. Men love this fragrance. Women love this fragrance. Everybody seems to feel the same way about this one. That is La Belle from Jean-Paul Gaultier. The last one I'm going to talk about today is a very sweet fragrance. That is Velvet Vanilla from Mansara. So this is a predominantly sweet floral fragrance. You really get a lot of tuberose and jasmine in here. There's of course vanilla, just like the name. But honestly, the floral notes really stand out in this fragrance, but in a different way than all the ones I've showed you so far. So this scent emanates like a sweet, fruity, almost bubblegum scent. Sometimes tuberose can be very powdery or very sharp, but in here you get a bubblegum essence from the tuberose, which is just delicious. Uh, you could wear this on a date night, out with your friends. This is a very versatile scent. Anytime that I've worn this, I have gotten compliments. It will last very long all day on your skin. If you're going to be out all night, uh, this is a great fragrance to reach for. I've been told that I smelled like candy when wearing this, so that just tells you enough. It's actually quite a complex fragrance. So you have the tuberose, you have jasmine and vanilla, but then you also have neroli in there, which I think coincides with the tuberose, giving it this like powdery bubblegum scent. It also has angelica, which is one of my favorite fragrance notes. You honestly do smell the angelica in here. I would say more so in the top. It gives it a little bit of that sharp headiness before it dries down into the sweeter base notes. So this is a very versatile, complex scent that you could wear on many occasions. Um, I recommend this because I've always gotten compliments on it. People really seem to love this scent. It's very sweet, but it's a very unique scent. Um, it's not your typical vanilla, and that's why I wanted to put this one in here today. That is Velvet Vanilla from Mansara. And those are all of my picks for my Valentine's Day fragrances. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these below, and what are you thinking of wearing this Valentine's Day if you plan on celebrating. Thank you for spending some time with me today while talking about my Valentine's Day picks. Thank you for all of your support. I really appreciate all of you, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.